donation. I'm here for moral support. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus oh, lower Christ. That. Lower that. Sorry. Screen. My eyes hurt for you. No, 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 no. no. The shower or whatever, because I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do some grooming and stuff. Like, I had already set up the candles and everything. I'm like, oh shit, the podcast, right? So, like, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> here I am. like, in my time, I completely forgot that it was at 9 a.m., right? So it's like, yeah, yeah, it's probably like what, like 6 a.m.? Like, ah, I'm fine. And then I hadn't looked at the clock. So I was like, what time is it? And then I see it's like 10 a.m. I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, oh my lord that's fine you're you're good um so ruby we're gonna start at the beginning right so it started off as a web series via rooster teeth which does the it's time for a death battle right but obviously it's from a different part within the group and the original creator is no longer with us rest in peace Monty Ohm, R.I.P. It was a good one. Yeah, I actually uh, read the first three volumes of Ruby, and it's exactly. You read right. them? Yeah, I I found them oh. fun. No, just like you read them. Usually, like people would just go and see them. But okay. If you can see Prison School, right? Those big volumes, and then those three white ones, right, right next to it. That's Ruby. All right. But. So anyways, Monty Ohm, yeah, go ahead. So his story is actually like very good in those first three volumes. And you can see where the story is progressively going. And personally, I love how they did something that's more rare in what is almost like a shonen type situation, even though it's not shonen, is it's a female led cast. Mm hmm. So, like, in, in rom-coms and, like, some other things, or depending on, like, you know, what the story is, yeah, there'll be a female lead, but this is almost an entire female-led cast. There are very few male characters, and very few male characters that carry importance. Like, you have Ozpin, you have the general, there's, like, one or two other teachers, you have the dads for all the, the girls, and, like, that's it. And, and one uncle that's it everyone else is is mainly females so that, that's something that, like i tip my hat off to because that's something it's not controversial but it's something you don't see that often so tip my hat off to uh him the animation of it though oof, it's it's a bit rough around the edges um listen ruby is very much a product of its time like we started what late to like early 2014 and when like, I got into high school. pardon i said when i got into high school that should tell everybody yeah yeah so it's like it's late 2014 early ish at the latest like i believe like 2013 when we first started getting the trailers uh it all uh, starts 20, with 2013 like the simple was the uh original release july 18th of uh 2013. yeah so like mid 2013 to late and early 2014. uh that's when we started getting the trailers listen the iconic thing of ruby have always been the trailers and sure maybe in cohesion wise and also there's the part of like i'm sorry like if i'm going to overstep a little bit it's just ruby is one of those things that i um followed throughout the years and then ultimately when they stopped uh having any form of cohesion at least for me and like majority of the fandom i kind of stopped but that's like a topic for like later on in the video or in the podcast in this in this essence but like the thing is that uh the red white black and yellow trailers were just meant to like introduce you into like that entire concept of ruby and red trailer is still one of the most iconic things and like you can ask everybody and you say oh have you ever seen the red trailer and they'll always have a specific part of the trailer that they'll like and it's most often than not always that shot of ruby halfway like suspended through the air her sight by her back the moon 
shatter behind her. And like, that's one of the most iconic things. And it speaks to what the creators originally wanted because it was always supposed to be like, hey, we're doing like this anime-esque battle shonen and it's going to be really fun and whatnot. But I guess somewhere along the lines, it just lost some form of cohesion, but that's like internal issues as well. But the movie is a great show. Like, especially if you ever want to get into animation, because, like, choreography and everything, it's still one of those shows that you go, like, mm. Yeah, so that, that that's another thing that, like, especially because it started off, like, as a web anime, instead of a uh, mm-hmm. webtoon comic, it was, like, a web anime. So it's, like, volumes one, two, and three maybe get you, like, ten hours of content, and that's pushing it. And that's because, like, each episode in each part or volume. I'm, I'm going to call it parts, even though it's volumes. But yeah, no, but in, you'll in be fine one, either way. You had, like, maybe four episodes that was, like, more than 15 minutes. Then in part two, they were all getting closer to that, like, 20-minute mark. Uh, same thing with part three. But then once you get into, like, part five or part six, all of them are, like, 20-something minutes. And that's with the intro and outro music. Um, that's actually something else that I realized. Their, their music is pretty decent. Like for soundtracks, and yeah. I got oh, it's say, amazing. As exactly like as the seasons progress, the music gets better. But as the seasons progress, we as as Juju said, we lose progression. We lose not progression. We lose uh, co- cohesion. So it's cohesion. So, so it stops making sense for us. Um, we um, we stop having the things that made it interesting. So as Juju was saying, like in um, trailer red like i'm already hearing all of the sounds that was happening in trailer red i'm also remembering all the sounds that happen throughout like when uh the scythe turns into uh a gun then turns back into a scythe with the sniper on it like it's very that that's something that they did very well and i would rather have the lack in the quality of the animation but still like you know have better uh voice acting cohesion and uh like sounds basically because everything made sense and everything meshed together but once you get past i want to say like maybe part five or six that's where they start getting new coats of paint and you're like this feels kind of weird but i'm gonna let it slide and then they remove a lot of the things that made it interesting for us oh look at the little doggy in the corner what oh yeah that's clifford i'm sorry i just i was looking at my I was looking for my laptop because, like, I have. If we're gonna be talking about Ruby, I want to bring into definitely, like definitely. the consideration for like the Grand Council, if if we were to be, so to speak, uh, like a creator that has gone to length, and I don't know if you want to tag uh, said creator later on, but like most of the bases if we're going to be talking about ruby most of the bases and like arguments that i might have or like opinions of the matter come also like as a form of echo on her because oh, yeah. she, uh, you, she had you, a, you told me it, about her before that like her entire page is just ruby content mm-hmm. yeah. yeah um I, yeah i totally forget her her name and like that, that's on me. But like the last time we did it's, this was like it, in August. It's Critter. Um, I, I know, I know her for Critter. I just I need to look her up. Allow me. And I have her as one of my the judgmental Critter. So the um, the judgmental Critter has uh, gone into extreme length, and even her last video, which was about seven days ago. Uh, she says, what ruined Ruby? But that's like entire thesis statements that she will often have because it is quite the overarching narrative and quite the popular thing to like bring up because it is uh, exactly as it sounds. It's, hey, the fandom has been trying to go strong for so long, but like at the end of the times is just kind of like, uh, are, we, are we even liking this anymore? Because some people have attachments to some of the characters, but some 
some of their fans are just like, yeah, man, I just stopped watching. And it's kind of disappointing in a, in a weird way. Well, so that, that, that's another thing, too, is that, like, I had an, uh, an attachment to a character, and I thought she was a great character. No spoilers, but emotional damage. I was not happy I, about I that. I immediately know who you're talking about. And it's, like, when... when I immediately when you know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not going to say who it is, right? You have to figure it out. Mm-hmm. You have to watch it for yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be the guy to spoil shit for you. But... I feel like we as a collective can say if there's a really good character, very well written, morals, all this other shit, and then you just randomly off that character when no other main character has been off, or like no other like side character has been off. Oh, man. It seems kind oh of we're talking weird. about her? Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And it, it is. It is. And it, at sometimes it's also kind of like disappointing because it's like. Okay, so you did this, and you did this more for like shock value rather than anything else, and it's like, why do it? Yeah. Why, why go off in that direction? And um, those are like a lot of questions that like the fandom in total has had. And like, I know that I'm sounding like I'm kind of like cutting myself off a little bit and going off on like weird tangents, but it's like we had so much high hopes, and suddenly they just fizzled out and it's kind of disappointing to be honest yes sage i see your hand up okay yeah so uh what juju is hitting on essentially that that's the more professional version we we got to get slightly unprofessional because i I, i'm not i'm not here for all that all right i'm here to record and i'm here to give out the truth all right so I'm half and half. Like I said, I watched the original when it was coming out on YouTube, coming through Rooster Teeth. All right, when they came out with Crunchyroll saying, you "Oh, it's a reboot." To the Rooster Teeth thing? No, but I've been oh, refusing. Okay. But you see, here's the thing: if I can still get my same quality from the one that's on Crunchyroll, then cool because I pay for Crunchyroll. But my whole thing is, I was here since day one. All right, and I'm 21, so so like I, I understand. I get I might not be all the way in there, but you know I, I was here since day one. You know I picked it up. It was good. I was like, okay, Ruby with the sniper sight. We was in the trenches. We was in the trenches <laughs> together, right? I was there. I was there. I, I don't think everybody else was there at the time, but you know I was there, sitting in there watching it every Friday. Like, it was Future Card Buddy Fight and Card Fight Vanguard off of Bushy Road. But that's a whole different story for a different day. <laughs> Ruby, though. As far as that character, Sosa, because I think we both know who we talking about, right? Yeah, it's, right? Like, it's literally the only, like, mainstay. Well, it's not, like, it's not in RWBY. It's not from that group because it. Oh, oh, no, I already they, know. I already know who you're talking on, about. I, she's a goddess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, they don't pair up uh, children like they do in Naruto, right? Three kids and the adult. It's literally four kids all together, which is where you get Ruby. And there's like a whole bunch of acronyms for like Jupiter and all this other shit. Right. Speaking of Jupiter. Which, and then, and then, then, hold on, hold on. Can we talk about how randomly there's a dude and he's he's Goku. He he is Sun Wukong. I'm like. What y'all y'all did this just so people could be like it's Goku. I mean, to be to be quite fair, it's anime. Like you have to have like a type of, like monkey type room like in there. Like just like you have like the kawaii girl with the hammer, you have to have, like the monkey type. Oh, I like, love the girl with the hammer. I love the girl huh? with the hammer. The girl with the. I mean, oh, great. Are you kidding? I mean, all I'm gonna say is High School DxD did the same thing with the Goku reference. Exactly. So it had to be done. It had to be done. All right. But like, here's the thing. If we're if, okay, first and foremost, pause. First, pause. What is the topic right now? Because I feel like we're gonna go off tens. Um, real quick because we're. Still I would like to there. give ten I mean, seconds I, 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 to I, I, the I, I, goddess, bitch. and her death was unnecessary, but it was for character development. No, it wasn't. That, so. She all right, so we're going in spoiler territory. Spoiler territory now. All right, so no main character dies up until part three. 
Yeah, spo- spoilers for for Ruby, and we're 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 just going in. We're going to talk about the domain right Even behind though me. It's been I don't like, care. What, ten years. It's been like player. ten years, yo. Get your get your ass together. Go watch the thing. We all know who died. Now go. So sorry. <laughs> so so the thing with her death to me, it it makes sense, but it made no sense at all. And like I'm letting it slide, and hopefully they can do something else besides the she died. Oh, uh, w- w- what's that sound on TikTok? I want to kill my mom. Uh, like that. That's that's how the kid felt to me. He's like, I'm doing this, but like I I I, I want to kill this bitch. She she killed her, and I'm like, bro, like that's so bland for me. That was re- that was like the worst. Like I I, I personally I didn't need it, but then he's like. Uh, I can't have someone else there. No uh, and, then, and then he activated his semblance, and his semblance is just like having too much That's... internal magic. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. That's the reason behind it. You fool. You fool. It, it's classic. Well, like, I, you know, I just went through this. How, I just went through this. How many times has he used it? Exactly. How many, how wait, many wait, times has he used it? Kamehameha and not use the Kamehameha. If, if you have this one move, where you have a shit ton of internal magic, what they call semblance, but you don't use it. But he just unlocked it, though. I don't care. He unlocked it, what, part five? and then He doesn't he have control over it. He's almost non-existent. After, after he unlocks his semblance, I believe the next volume is the last time he's, like, relevant. And then he just, he's there, but he's more as a side character. Because I mean, because then we went into Blake's backstory, right? Okay, I like the Blake. Blake's backstory. That's actually, why I actually really enjoyed that. Even that's though, why we had to cut it off. Even though we wasted almost an entire volume on her backstory, I. I but it was amazing. It, I it was amazing. It. I, I will take that as my Naruto filler in the group. Okay, but Athena and how Cinder did. Uh uh-uh, uh. Uh uh. I wanted the fade day one when I saw that episode come out. I just. I gotta say it. So uh, also mm. from my perspective. I didn't watch Ruby as it was coming out. I watched it la- last year. Yeah, last year. I went through all the parts. In its entirety? In, in, in its entirety, except for the soft reboot. And as I was finishing up, the last volume came out. So and then I watched that as well. The Ice, uh, ice Reboot? Queen. Yeah, the Ice Queen. Oh, you mean the Ice Queendom? Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen that. Um, we're not gonna talk about it. Okay, good, good, good. So don't waste my time. Good. We're, don't, don't. We're not gonna. No. Okay. Listen, <laughs> all that I gotta do is. Uh, all that I gotta say. Like, let me get this out of my head real quick. Ice cream them is more like a who? Like who? It's like you know when whenever like I hear the the fans of Avatar: The Last Airbender say, uh, "I wish we had a movie." It's like yeah, I know. I wish we had a movie. It's like that. Mm-mm. Wait, uh, uh-uh. she she does not go here. She's like a distant distant cousin. I think I don't know. Like she's from like a different hood. I don't know her. She she goes over there. My God, no, like, we're not doing that oh, in God. reference, like Kiyoshi reference, but more so, who 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 are we throwing out there like that? M Night uh-huh. No, no, I'm who, just who, saying. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking no, about? No, I'm trying. Talking, you, I was who, trying to get the analogy. About? I was here. Okay. I just need to make listen, sure. Listen, listen, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender only has uh, the Aang gang and then the Korra gang and the Kerner. Yeah. And uh-huh. we're currently in the talks of like something about Netflix or something. I don't know, some live no, action no. stuff. Um, oh. It was actually uh, announced the other day. The studio is doing two projects. One, Zuko's yes. getting a, a story of well deserved. The, the well he he has a comic out. Just just read the comic, and yeah, no, we're we're gonna get we're gonna get a, an Earthbender avatar like on the next part of the cycle. But until we have like more details, they're kind of just like, hey, yo, we're we're, we're cooking, and we're like, oh, great. But how do I say this? It's like they they're starting to prep. We still don't. We still haven't felt the heat from the kitchen. We still haven't gone like, mm, yeah, it's cooking. You know what I mean? Like, we still haven't gotten the aromas. Like, they're still, like, prepping them. They're, like, making sure that the ingredients are ready so that they can start doing that crock pot. And I'm like, yeah, it's so good. Um, so I just don't need that, another like... Mako, okay? I don't need another Mike. I mean, Mako, all right? That's all I'm saying. Jackson. No, I said Mako. 
I was about to say Mike, but <laughs> another Mako. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I don't need Thank another you. one. Mm. That, that's why I'm still here. I'm still on my training guard mm. because of this. So uh, going back to Ruby, right? Um, going back to Ruby, right, 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 right. So, so, uh-huh. so in the last couple of seasons, parts, volumes, whatever, yeah. uh, they did a finally they did character redesign. And I, that's where to me it felt kind of flat. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks really nice. But, like, Weiss never had that much hair. And to me, I, I, like, I don't know why I'm fixated on Weiss right now, but, like, she got so much hair, I'm like, that has to be a weave. I, I, I have yet to see a black person, but that looks like a weave. That looks, that <laughs> looks like fake hair. She's always had thin hair in a ponytail. It went down to like maybe the midway of her body, right? And then randomly she gets these like big ass circles and like it cur- curviates down. I'm like, how? What? So, so we're just the, pon- the ponytail went to like this weird ball and becomes something else and then goes down? No. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. It, I hate that description so much. It, to me, it was weird. It was unwarranted. It is. Moving it's on. So um, I like the redesign. And also, of... she never wore that much blue. She never wore that much blue. Her whole shtick is Ruby is red, Weiss is white, Blake is black, and Yang is yellow. And they just, they kind of like stopped all together wearing like the whole thing. And it's like, I'm going to need you to like find some cohesion between the four girls like real quick. And, like, one of the things and one of the examples that, like, a lot of the fans have um, tried to issue is, like, you know how Ruby has her cape and it's her iconic red cape? Well, it's, like, not the iconic red no more. And now it's, like, a more faded type of, of, of red or whatever, right? Um, you can, like, kind of do the same for each of the girls, kind of, like, give them, like, a sash or something with their respective color and trying to match it to, like, the corresponding outfit. Because usually wives would wear either really... Uh, like um, ivory's styles of white with accents of silver or uh, soft, soft blue. And that's pretty much it. Cause it's all meant to like correspond to like her color design. And Blake was black, white, sure. The yin and the yang type of thing situation going on with her. But usually she had accents of purple and all that stuff. And like with here, it's like, she's all white, mostly purple. And it's like, girl, you're supposed to be the black. Like what? And like you're literally the black cat, the black cat. Looking at the atrocity that you're speaking of now on my phone, because I wanted to spare myself from this. You are not not gonna spare yourself. And then they did Yang dirty. Listen, they did Yang dirty. It's like oh, we're gonna talk about that. Always. What we gonna talk about? What? I mean, she's been done dirty since season one, Mm -hmm. technically. You know, even though she still got her dad, <laughs> oh, but my dad. I, I, I'm I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna play the spades as it is, especially since I can sort of relate her, to it. Li- listen, she has her her dad and her mom, so what's good? Exactly. Most of them, most but, but, but like, most of them but like her mom went rogue, right? Movie. Huh? Exactly. Exactly. My point exactly, right? How how come she's right. getting done dirty, so, although she has know. her mom? So this is the original Weiss that made sense, and then we just go to this? I'm sorry. So, so Weiss again, was supposed to be our vanguard of who's better between her and Elsa, and I always said Weiss could beat Elsa any damn day. No, like, so I, I understand, like, obviously she's not in, like, this cold climate because where she lives is relatively cold climate. So, like, okay, cool, she she's always in this miniskirt. All right, cool, let it be, whatever. Always this, like, thing of, like, snowflakes on the bottom. And, like Juju said, the kind of, like, white silver with uh, the accent of blue with, like, a piece of red, right? Cool, part of the gang. And then the redesign... The red becomes an almost nothing for, like, the earrings and the thing on her arms, which she's never worn gloves before. She's got, like, this new battle attire dress. Not a fan of it. Cool. Did she take over the kingdom and her sister died? 
Because I admit, no, like no, I no, said no, in no, the beginning. No, 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 no. Her, her sister is uh, still very much alive. Dad, not so much, but that's. Um, no, that's my point. I dropped don't off. It. Don't don't minimize it. Don't minimize it. <laughs> I did. Min- oh, um, yeah. Scroll. When scroll did down. I drop off? Scroll scroll down just a little bit more. Oh, uh, yeah. So, the three girls. Which one's the original three girls? Okay, so either the left or the right. Yeah. Oh, this. Oh no no no. This no, right no, here. Nope no no no. Nope. That's that's Ice Queendom. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. I, I was going to get into that, but we're going to go to the uh, original. Uh, yeah, Yang. I, I don't mind her character design that much. I'm actually glad that they kind of did a little bit to, like, cover up her cleavage instead of kind of being out there. I was like, that's kind of unnecessary. Um, her I mean, you get it. They're in the call, but no. Yeah, yeah. It's... I would prefer more yellow. It, it's It's okay. I mean, I, I don't have anything to say about her. Now, click on click on Blake. Girl, they massacred oh. poor Blake. Oh, that Bob is not doing her best, man. Cool. So her redesign was actually a little bit too much. Um, again, the the like whole yin and yang thing that Juju said, and um, and then her like redesign has way too much purple, not enough black, and she cut her hair. I was like, okay, maybe, maybe she gave her hair to Weiss and Weiss just dyed it white, I guess. <laughs> Get the speaker! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is actually hilarious. Oof. Oof. Okay, so, so we're done with Blake. Uh, we've done the other girls as well. All right, cool. Um, and then we go to Ruby. Yeah. We have to talk about Ruby. Like, we just have to. Like, they... Yeah, we have to My poor find... baby girl, she did not deserve half the thing that she had done to her. Mm-mm. Like, she's no longer even bad at this. Like, sure, she has the access they try to do something, but like there's oh, a couple of uh, episodes on season geez, two scroll. that they give them new clothes and it scroll. managed to be better. Is the scroll? Yeah, scroll. Should be just a little bit further. And it Are you talking about this one? Down. Right there. No. No, down, down. no the 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 one with, with the four of them right right next to each other. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that is them all together. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. She's finally embracing her cat self, showing out the ears. Yang still has a shit ton of hair for some bizarre reason. And this monstrosity of hair makes no sense to me. I feel like Ruby was the only one that, like, had the least change to her. But she lost, like, what made her awesome. Because she had, like, that little mini skirt that wasn't too, too, scroll just a little bit more, Sage. Um, Nope, other side. Not yeah, should be just a little bit further, and then you should see the one with them together. That one. What, what am I looking stop, at? Stop! 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 Right next to the big picture that you already have highlighted. To the this right. One. To the right. This one. To the right. Up. Yep. Boom. That's that. That's the beginning of the group. Cool. Now compare that to the other one where, like, you know, Weiss has this shit ton of hair where um, Blake cut off her hair. Yang got covered up. Cool. Yay. And then Ruby, like, lost her, like, mini poofy skirt for, like, these short shorts, basically. I mean, so with Yang, I can sort of understand, honestly, her having the cleavage out, it, it ain't really matter. That that was just more so like okay yeah I can see what her blueprint was, you you know it it wasn't us but it was us, you know it makes sense you know countryside I'm gonna get the shit done. Yippee Exactly, but still can be classy about it. All right, Blake I I'm sorry, it, it just seems like 
You you went through the whole emo girl phase, which is good, which is good. That's what was intended, but it just did not translate well, in my opinion. But it's not as bad as what happened to Weiss. Weiss, uh, I'm just yeah, this monstrosity. Yeah, you went from white to blue. From white to blue. You you made her look like a Disney princess. Which he already outdid the Disney princess. She was meant to outdo. So at this point, it's like, what was the purpose? Ruby, I just feel like she grew up overall, which is great because she's the main character. And she learned, hey, you know, like everything's not all sunshine and rainbows. And that's what's showing through her attire. Same thing. Like, we've all gone through that moment where it's, uh, you know... Okay, I've snapped. Major life change. I can't wear this. I gotta wear this now. It not only says what I'm here to do, but also it's still comfortable. And I feel like losing the puffiness to just the shorts and a mini skirt, sort of, is more so like, okay, I'm here to battle, but I'm still somewhat stylish, staying true to myself. That's what that says. Weiss, again, Disney princess. She shouldn't have cut her hair for Blake. I'm just saying. Overall, Young it pretty much is similar to Ruby, which I get sibling-wise. Um, so I can sort of see that cover-up, but at the same time, still major glow-up overall because went from just raw, you know, I'm going to get the stuff handled to... I'm get it handled, but I've also honed my skill and strength, especially after her accident. That's just my my opinion, you know, going from this to this, you know. Again, I still prefer the other one. Don't get me wrong. Well, still the, prefer it. The the main thing <clears throat> is that like the Partially, this is where I don't know, and that Juju would shine. Oh, click click on Salem for us for a hot second. Why? Why? Are, J J are you me. sure? Yeah, that well, that relatively is Salem. That that's more fan art, but Salem has white hair. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie. I I don't understand the show anymore. Be like, don't don't get me wrong. I understand the show. I understand the point of the show, but. If she is an unkillable bad guy, you would have to, like, wish her away or wish her to a different planet or some shit. And the Book of Ashanti. You just... It, 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 it makes no sense. Shadow, you, you know this. I, I just told you that. It's Shadow. You can't just jump like that. No, don't run. Yes, Captain America, go call Doctor Strange and tell him bring me the Book of Ashanti. What part do we not get? I mean, you have to go through Wanda again first, but it is what it That's is. That's essentially what it is. Okay? We'll, I we'll mean... sacrifice another universe, alright? Tournament of power style. Whoever loses, you know, they'll get sacrificed. So we can or get you, that book. You could always pull a choppy Dragon Ball and throw her in the dead zone. I ain't think about that. You know, that is a good sacrifice, too. I'm just saying. But we need that book from what Sosa <laughs> said. You know, that that's the best translation. That way, you, so now you sort of see where we're going with it. I'm sorry I was the one to have to do it. Since, you know, Sosa was like, you know, we're going to have to show Shadow something and, and slightly traumatize you. Yeah, essentially, you know, we, we got a Scarlet Witch on our hands. Yes. And... <sighs> It, it, it's very weird, and this is where his story takes a turn that we don't find out. I forget if it's volume 8 or volume 7, or hell, even volume 6. Uh, it's right around the time of the redesign, <clears throat> where we have met the villain, Salem, roughly what she looks like, and uh, come to find out she's trying to obtain... <laughs> she's trying to obtain heaven, right? She's trying to be the one above all, right? Uh, for, for my JoJo fans, they get the reference. Um, <laughs> now. So what, what she's trying to do is she's trying to acquire uh, these four relics 
uh, and when combined, they can bring back the brothers of good and evil. And that, that's actually another thing that I enjoyed from the original three parts. Is that they oh no, sounds the like Exodia. Sounds like Exodia to me. Exactly. It's, so, it's sort of like it's Zodia, right? That's, that's basically what happened. So, um, some, some backstory. Um, there are these two brothers. The older brother is good, the younger brother is evil. And they are like primordials, right? So, no one can touch them but each other. The older brother loves to create while the younger brother loves to destroy. They find way to have harmony in their bullshit, right? Um, and... At this point in time, magic is extremely prevalent in the world. It's like as drinking water. It's it's that common. But this one girl that had access to all magic was locked away in the tower by her father. Sounds in, sounds uh, similar, right? Yeah, it sounds like Shrek. So, <laughs> <laughs> this, this one lass, right? He goes through the castle, saves her, takes her out. Not takes her out like bang, bang, but more take her out. Chi bang, chi bang, right? I mean, he, he did that too, or at least attempted. Uh, he attempted we'll, to bang around all corners will, and finish the job. We, we, we will get around to that in a moment. So, what ended up happening was uh, he died young of a uh, disease that there was no cure for at the time. Also sounds extremely familiar note like Dragon Ball <laughs> or any other like anime out there because it's like oh, oh we so we gonna Ball. leave out the other events too no because I'm trying to fast forward I'm I'm trying to like spew as much for, for Shadow to understand why don't, don't forget the side piece okay you gave him the state yeah don't forget so, the mac and cheese because so the she, mac and cheese is the focal point she can, can you find a picture of Salem before she went evil to, to show a pretty version of her uh, mm. just type in uh, or try and find Salem pretty evil so she goes to try and resurrect her lover she goes to the older brother which is the god of like you know life and he's like oh i, I can't do that because then we will break um the imbalance of the world and i'm not going to do that i was like okay cool great so she goes to the younger brother and she tries to convince the younger brother be like hey like you know i, I know that you deal in death and whatnot but like you know can you save my lover yeah, yeah, yeah. dude she's hot smoking hot Smoking hot. I would tap. I would still tap. So okay, can you hear me now? Salsa, Juju, Shadow. Normally, I wouldn't be the one to do it because either me or Shadow is typically sent to the corner. To the corner. No. To the you corner, indeed. The Wait, corner hold up. Quick question, question. Quick question. Hold... <laughs> can you can you hear me now? Because like I was setting up the laptop and whatever, and, like, and I have like the headset that I use for work. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, Sosa, to the corner, please. Uh, we we do not simp for like a cosmic level destroyer. First, Less of all Salem. No, girl, she be girl, she be spewing up. No, 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 no. She be she be spewing out. She to me. I said, Keep spewing out first, grim. We do not know what is all that stuff. Hold on, let her. Her first little, little. iteration, I would smash. Her second iteration, I would still smash. This third one, get me the hell out of here. I don't want it. I don't want no part of it. Keep me long away. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Because no. if you, cause if if you, you smash, smash one and two, you need to oh. smash three. <laughs> Listen. Back to the topic at hand. Right? You Super are. Freak. Super freak. Super I, I, freak. I know. I know, right? I know, right, Juju? I already had mine right next to me. I had, I was worried the day might come. Go, go on ahead. Get... You need to stop. By the way, this this was given to me with like for like my birthday last year, and um, it came with Pikachu. Fuck yeah! Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. the OG Pikachu that that handled the job, you know. No, but, the, uh... the Gigantamax Pikachu. But anyways, that's not the point. The point yeah, is, yeah. Sosa, you are going. <laughs> You're going to the corner because, like, we do not simp for a cosmic lover destroyer. Yeah. We do not, we do not know hold what on. it's of that telemusi. We do not can, know what it's of that telemusi. Can we take it a step further? Hold, hold on, Your Honor. Can we take it a step further? Her name is also the state. Is I mean, not the state, but oh. a similar location of the state oh. where they had major oh. witch trials, literally verbatim. Yeah. And you oh, live oh, in the state of Massachusetts. Yeah. 
So well, that's you heretic, not... even for you. So, so have oh. you not heard of the Salem witch trials? Yes, I have. Do you know how many kids I went to? I was like, my oh case, God, your Salem honor. Mass, it is so beautiful. And then, like the locals from Salem, Mass are like, "We hate you guys," because come Halloween, like come October, flooded. But the the people, like a lot of the tourists, like they're just disgusting, as most tourists are. But let me get back yeah. and explain why there's three different versions of Salem, okay? So the first one, put put the glicky away. So the first one <laughs> is the one that, like, we meet in the backstory, right? Mm. Goes to the older brother. Older brother says, I can't break the cycle of, of life. Nor mm. the, like, verbal contract I have with my younger brother to keep the balance. She goes to the younger brother. Younger brother does it, but he was tricked. And um, so the older brother shows up. He's like... Yo, she came to me first, and she's trying to put a like you know a, a a a space between us. And I'm telling you, I'm being honest with you. Like, don't do this. And bro young brother was like, "Oh, you're trying to trick me," and I'm I'm a god, and kills the dude right in front of her. She's livid. She tries to fight them both, but the older brother uh, teleports her back to like his pond. There's always a pond, and for some reason she like dipped inside of the pond thus gaining eternal life okay yeah still where Sounds we have, familiar right still where we have the first version of her so nobody she, got that reference i'm i'm moving on from the reference so <laughs> i didn't so, i didn't i didn't hear it good. she dipped into the pond of life and it get, and gained immortality so, sounds familiar right mhm cool so she then tricks the entire world to try and wage war on the two brothers. And then the older brother says, yo, fam, I got this. Wipes out humanity. Almost literally, flick of the wrist. But because she's immortal, she can't die. And they're like, oh, now you're going to wander the earth with no one here. So she wanted to take her own life, but obviously she, she couldn't. So she was like, oh, if the one brother brought me eternal life maybe the other one will bring me grant me death so bitch tries to s dive in and die. she tried to unsubscribe herself from a life you bought a lifetime subscription i'm sorry that's not how the shit works here we she have paid nineteen ninety nine plus shipping and handling, and then she said, "Nah, -uh, return to sender." She's like, mm -mm, "I'm not doing this." You, you didn't see the see. This is why we read contracts, everyone. Okay, we this read, is why we read the fine. Listen, an example of reading the fine script is what's happening right now with Dungeons and Dragons and Wizards of the Coast. Okay, we're reading the fine script, and we are not here for her. Oh, that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> So after she dipped in the evil brother's pond, she just turned into version two, which is the one with the red eyes, silver hair, would still smash. And through her continuous You're disgusting life, for that. Even Shadow looks on with disdain, knowing. I, after disgusting learning. disgusting for that. The Salamusi. The Salamusi has a body count, and that is you not see, good. You see Shadow's <laughs> face. And normally he's the one that goes to the corner. Uh, so while, you made this man turn off his door. Living her quote unquote best life, her lover is constantly reincarnating, constantly reincarnating. So it doesn't. Oh matter. yes. So if he dies, like you know, when he's in his early twenties, doesn't matter. He'll reincarnate, and then continue to live his life, which is a sad part because when he reincarnates, his old life. And his new life, it's it's like Diavolo from uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's two people in one body. It's two souls in one body. Until the new person fully realizes, like, hey, this is what I gotta do. And then the past life just, like, fades away. Not even that. that Not that, even that. that. The, past the, past life, the past life ends up consuming the new soul. Oh, that's how it is? Yes. Yes. Uh, that's why we're having so much like a hard time with Oscar, which is in this version of like the current style of Ruby, um, the new vessel for the old, the first lover to Salem, and he is Ospin, and like the thing is, Ospin is the name 
for all of them. It's like a weird avatar type of situation because like they get reincarnated. However, they get reincarnated in the new body with a previous soul, with a personality and everything else, with how with who knows how long of a time that this body has had to mature and be like its own individual. Only to then realize, hey, I have a second soul inside my heart. But not only that, that other second soul wants to completely eradicate everything that I am to live my life in this one to try to to try to kill the other Salamusti that is currently out there and trying to do all that, that damn bit. And I'm like, like, damn, poor Oscar. And like, he he was like a 15 year old kid. He is a 15 year old kid during like the transcourse though. He was like, like 12. I'm just kind of sad about Oscar. Like he's eventually gonna get consumed by Osman. And for what? And for what? Yeah. We don't really know what's gonna happen this next season. And like, listen, if we're gonna talk, talk, we're gonna talk it out. So, next season uh, are we gonna open with that are we gonna we we have to eventually talk about it this this year is gonna get released we don't know when but it's gonna be this year oh no yeah have we're, not we're, given we're, a, they give a date we're, no there there's no date this is the last thing that they have they haven't added any i, I literally was like scouring for 10 minutes trying to find all right because of the controversy girl a tea. tea before we watch this Okay, so you want the tea first, and then we wash the thing? Okay, so here's the... Here, uh, allegedly. <laughs> I, I was watching this thing while y'all were talking. I ain't gonna listen. sit here and lie. Okay, so listen. Here's here's what I got, right? So the tea is that a lot of animators and a lot of employees from RTW, which was Rooster Teeth or whatever, are, like, jumping chip. Not only jumping ship, like, a lot of allegations of, like, misconduct mishandling of funds uh mistreatment to the animators uh even some of the voice actors and everything like oh, they're like straight up dipping what it, it kind of sounds like mappa because like when, when you think of mappa studios uh people that did the jjk movie and the jjk series they yeah. like their employees they can't see their own family like i thought it was a joke it's actually fact no no but like here's okay that's that's like Something hardcore but like but uh, that's like something else here is like actual allegations of like um inappropriate touching and all that other stuff it's not like they're being overworked it's like they're being overworked underpaid molested doing the whole damn thing uh like racism all that, all that stuff like it's going off and it's going wild and like some of the animators key animators decided to you know what we're gonna jump ship because it's like not doing the thing that we're gonna do and like we don't know what's gonna happen with volume nine that's like the situation that's why i was like wait it's out like she she has a date because that exploded november december and like early january and that's one of the reasons by the way go watch the last video from judgmental creator by the way gang gang what's up love you ma um it's because she goes on detail it's like yo it's going off and like a lot of the things is like even the voice actors for like the girls are currently in like a divide because like they don't know what to do they don't know what's going on and like a lot of the decision financially wise is also like being mishandled all throughout it's not like they're being overworked and they're still doing and producing the thing it's like they just got got into such a degree of god godliness that they don't even know what's gonna happen like a lot of key people inside of the team it's I, they they just completely jumped ship. They throwing everything out of the water, like everything, like all the dirty laundry and all the stuff is being put out to air. A lot of people are seeing like the misconduct or whatever. Like even one of the main animators and whatever, like the producers of the show and whatever, they'd be like, ah, yeah, I got paid. I'll be doing like all this Tesla type of thing or whatever. And it's like, isn't that money from the show for the show? What you doing with that funds? Like, where you going with that money? Where you going with that coin? It's like, Dude, you running off with that coin, and that coin is for your show, which needs it, because let's, mm, girl, let's be honest, you're not exactly producing crisp animation no more, and like, we just don't know where it's happening, we don't know what's going on, but for like a lot of people, it's like, hey, yo, this is the tea, I'm not gonna mess with that, whatever, but like, the Ruby fandom in a, as a collective those who have been in the trenches, those who have been hovering, those who have just been like, hey, what's going on? You guys good? You need some water? And then dipping out. We're all like this. 
what's gonna happen because like as the production sequences and all that other stuff started going off we would be good we would be like yeah 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 every like few months or every few weeks we'll get like a crumb or something and like <clears throat> here you go information i'm like oh yeah thank you so much thank you so much and we'll keep that in file but like right now it's like oh girl because this is this just team too much we, like a lot of people don't know what's going to happen for the like the volume nine because the situation has escalated into such a degree that i believe there's a couple of lawsuits and everything just about to happen girl yeah it, full on it's team. looking like rick and morty but a little bit worse Yo. wait what happened with rick and morty so the, yeah one of the two creators because it's justin and whatever his face is <clears throat> Justin Roiland is coming under things for like sexual misconduct. So, uh, and it's like as Rick and Morty, the last episode of season six dropped, that came out. That the allegation came out. So, like Rick and Morty might officially be done because that's the dude that voices. If I'm not mistaken, he voices Morty. So on top of that, the that Morty helps. and um, also. They, uh, I think they've like just launched a game high on life or whatever it's called, and um, that guy does some of the voice voices for the game, and I just find it <clears throat> very interesting that like going into 2023, right? So like you know 2022 going into 2023, here we are recording January, and this is probably gonna drop like roughly March, March ish, um, because like how much content we actually have out and about, yay! Because we. We, we like to prepare and be ready. <clears throat> so some of this stuff like might be resolved by the time this episode comes out. But in the fact that like a lot of people at the end of 2022 said, you know what? Fuck this shit. <laughs> right? Oh, and left. Because they're like, oh, we're going to leave this in 2022. 2023 is going to be a better year for all of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, see. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because now I got to pick my violence real quick. With everybody who been saying this stupid. All right, I get it was supposed to be motivational for the past ten years. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ugh. Are you showing us something? Oh no, Girl, I, I'm just taking team, away. Bro. I'm taking away the background because I need you to understand what I'm saying. Okay. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Look, listen. listen. <laughs> That new year, do me bullshit, has not worked. Stop saying it. Oh. Oh new year, same me, get some improvements, and let's keep it pushing. All right, that's a fact. That's a fact. All right, don't 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 look anywhere else. All right, I know you see the rest of the discords. I need you to understand that I'm gonna be there when you say that to somebody and they think to themselves. You know, I know this person lying. <laughs> yeah, I, I was the one that put you on the spot. Words from our sage. Uh, what? Oof. I, did, you, did you just disconnect? Oh, okay, never mind. <clears throat> what is it? Oof. What the fuck? Oof. Oof. I am so. Ooh. Ooh, she felt. Ooh, wait, hold on. Let me. Uh, mm, I, mm, I hydration. Have, like, I have some pent up anger. I know I have anger issues, but but like certain things just need to be said now because I, I feel like there's no need for the cut cards no more. Not not in this case. I'm gonna just say it. You know, it's Rick and Morty's done. We don't know what's gonna happen with season nine of Ruby. All right, let's be honest there. Right, Solar Opposites. We only got two seasons. That was smacking amazing. We don't know if we're going to get that. What about Little Demon 2? Because it's all under the same creators for Rick and Morty, Little Demon, and Solar Opposites. All the same creator. So, and it's only 15 days into the new year. I'm just trying to find some good happiness aside from family and trying to have a good, decent paying job, go on these trips to be like, okay, I'm going to actually sit at home, be a family person, Watch some TV, get some proper rest. I can't do that. I can't go Aims to sleep. Today, the is violence in movies and on TV. But where are those good old fashioned values on which we used to rely? There ain't no more Family Guy as well. 